Welcome to the Butterfly Effect, stage 14 of the 2020 Tour de France. Another crazy epic day. It was fun to watch from start, middle, and finish. For Hansgrohe trying to get the green jersey back on the seven-time winner, Peter Sagan. They were amazing, Bora Hansgro, until they blew it apart. I mean, let's face it, they just completely screwed up the finish. They did an amazing job on stage 12 trying to steal points and then screwed up the finish there. And then they did the exact same tactic today. If you watch stage 12 and you watch stage 14, you put those together, the strategy was almost identical. Let's blow... Bend it off the back, let's drive it to the finish, and then guess what? With our two strongest riders that could help Sagan make it a sprint, what do they do? They leave them alone, they go up the road, they blow up in the break, or they blow up by themselves, they come back, and Sagan is left solo to the finish. Bora Hansgrohe, guys, the objective of today's stage was one, drop the green jersey. You were spectacular in doing that. But two, you need to make it a field sprint or Sagan cannot gain points. Let me say it again. If you want to win the green jersey, you have to make it a field sprint for Sagan to win points. If you go up the road in a break, you take points away from Peter Sagan to be able to win the green jersey. It's a simple math problem. 50 points gets you closer to the green jersey, 18 does not. That gap between 18 and 50 is an amazing difference. Bora Hansgrohe, you guys screwed up back-to-back -back stages between 12 and 14. Your tactics didn't work on 12. You tried them again on 14, and it was the same outcome. Let's bring it back to strategy 101. You keep your guys with your leader. Who is your leader of today's stage? It's clear and simple. It's Peter Sagan. You have to stay with him and shut the gaps down. Now you're watching at home and you go, wow, how he was going to win the stage. He had a good gap. It was fair. Sagan gets a free ride in the back. He's not getting a free ride, folks. Whoever jumps across to Leonard Kavanaugh's attack with 5k to go is just again taking more points away from Sagan's green jersey chase. You cannot go for the stage win with anyone other than Peter Sagan. Otherwise, he does not get maximum points. Can I say it any clearer? There's 50 points on for first, there's 30 for second, there's 20 for third, and then it drops down. He needs maximum points. Your objective was two things today. Drop the green jersey, help Sagan gain maximum points. Instead, the only riders left after a spectacular team job and team effort was Leonard Kamna. He went solo up the front, then two guys jump across to him, then he blows up, and what happens? Sagan has to cover the next sub, I'm sorry, sun web move of Mark Hershey, and that kid is riding strong. So you can imagine how hard of an effort Sagan had to put in to close that gap to keep the window open for 50 points. So Sagan has to do that move instead of Leonard Kamna doing the pull and closing himself. Instead, it's Sagan. Now his legs are tired. What happens? Soren Craig Anderson takes an amazing jump. Then a downhill and a flat run into the finish. Now Sagan is back there trying to close the gap. Back to Soren Craig Anderson. He's left doing the lead out from further out. He's lead out. He's left doing the sprint from further out. And of course he gets pimped by even more guys and loses more points. Bora Hansgrohe catastrophically has messed up stage 12 and 14. And the amazing thing was, if you put those two stages together, they look identical. An excellent job at the beginning, a complete teamwork in the middle, dropping the green jersey, and then just giving points away at the finish while you left an amazing seven-time Green Tour jersey winner at the Tour de France solo by himself when he could have gained 50 points. Instead, he gains 22, 23 on the stages, 
It's a chunk of change, but man, could they have had a lot more achieved today. And we're running out of stages for Peter Sagan to win the green jersey back. We could see a historic eighth jersey winner, but instead they're just giving points away. I feel sorry for Sagan. I hope they're having a meeting to discuss what went wrong and how he was left by himself. Again, I don't care if Leonard Kemna wins the stage. Even if he wins the stage, you're taking points away from Peter Sagan's green jersey, legendary chase of the green jersey to win an eighth time at the Tour de France. And who's gonna make it solo? From the, from the top of the second to last climb was still another climb to go and go solo for 5K against the best riders in the world. It's rarely ever done. The odds are not in your favor. It was a stupid move. You needed to stay with Sagan, your team leader, the seven time green jersey winner at the Tour de France, trying to win an eighth, and he needs as many points as he can get. Folks at home, send this, attach it, send it to the Bora Hansgro team. Maybe they'll learn a lesson. It was incredibly stupid. I love the energy that was put into it, but you messed up the finish for a second time in a row. You gotta fix it. You gotta stay with Sagan all the way to the line. He needs help to the last 250 meters. Then your job is done. Then you can leave Sagan alone then he can have a chance of getting 50 points instead of the measly 17 or 18 that it was for fourth or fifth on the stage. You messed up. Fix it. Let's make this a great race. I love what Bora Hansgrohe, what you guys have been doing for this Tour de France. We're seeing some of the best stage races here at the Tour de France in history. Every day has been exciting. I love the energy. I hope to see more of it. Tomorrow's going to be another exciting day. Tune in to the Butterfly Effect, and I'll see you soon.